Hello and welcome to episode 29 of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. One more episode to go, and it will be 30 episodes. You can say what you want about me. But, don't say I can't count. At my age it's hard to go from drinking cocoa to eating ice cream. It makes my teeth hurt. Today I attempt to finish the Sudoku puzzle I started on episode 28. Wish me luck. Or don't. I will still solve the Sudoku puzzle no matter what. I have got a lot of space to fill. What am I going to fill it with? I can't write the same word over and over again. Win. 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 Okay, so I can write the same word over and over again. Though no one will listen to it. Ah, no one listens to Oatmeal Breakfast plays a video game, do they? If you do listen to the show, could you leave a nice comment telling me how wonderful the show is? Or you could leave a comment saying how you listened to the show? And you will never listen again. Ever. The choice is yours. I like kites. When I was young I had kites. And I would go and fly them. I never tried any tricks. W hat I would do is put the what is it called. The thing that you hold onto when you fly a kite. I would put that thing under a rock. And watch the kite fly. That is what I remember doing. I think I did that quite a bit. Why did I do what I did? Why didn't I try kite tricks? Or make my own kites? I don't remember being a good kite flyer. That is probably why I would put the the rock on the kite holder. And watch the kite while it flew. Why was I not good at anything when I was younger? Poor me, poor me, he he. I never thought about making my own kites or modifying the kites I bought. I can't picture any of the kites I had. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know when or why I stopped flying kites. Thinking about it, kite flying is the perfect hobby as long as I have the space to fly a kite. They are cheap. It's not hard to keep a kite in the air. They are quiet. You can fly one as long as there is wind. I am sure flying a kite would have been better than what I did do when I was a teen. Kites are cool. I am adding kite flying to my list of hobbies. Juggling and sketching are two other hobbies on that list. So there I go, I have three cheap hobbies. All I need are juggling balls for juggling, a kite for kite flying, and sketchbook and pencil for sketching. Did I tell you that I like cheap hobbies? If I am terrible at juggling, I will not feel witty. Because I did not spend thousands of dollars on expensive juggling equipment. Oh, I want to learn how to ride a unicycle so I can juggle while riding one. Now that sounds fun. And it sounds like it's hard to stay on the unicycle. I just thought why not tie a kite onto a radio controlled car and dive the car around and see what happens. That sounds fun. I need to try that. I hope I remember to try that. Because if I forget I will not be able to try that. I thought racing motorcycles or racing cars sounded fun. Then I thought about it and realized sure going fast is fun. Getting injured going fast is not fun. I might not get injured but, I don't want to take the chance. So I will stick to racing video games, and my cheap hobbies. 
So back to kites, I think it would be fun to get a book on kites, and build those kites in the book. I want to build things. Make things with my hands away from a computer. Maybe I could design and make an oatmeal beak fast kite. My image on a kite. Now that would be one good looking kite. As I am one good looking garbage can a robot. And I also think it would be fun to learn kite tricks. Since for some strange reason I never thought of learning kite tricks when I flew kites years ago. What other hobbies am I interested in? This year I did read book on paper making. I did not make any of my own paper paper making sounds fun. If I mad paper I could use it to draw on. I also think wood carving might be a fun hobby. I am not sure what I would carve out of wood. I would probably think of something. There are so many things that I don't know. So many things I want to learn. Also my hobbies of kite flying, juggling and sketching. Well not so much sketching. Those hobbies get me up and moving around. I enjoy moving around. Exercise is fun. I don't see why people find it a struggle to exercise. I have no problem exercising. I heard that Jack LaLanne exercised for two hours every more. And I wanted to exercise for two hours every more. Exercise keeps me in shape. Exercise makes me feel better. I don't feel the need to exercise all day, or anything like that. I do enjoy exercise. That is for sure. One of my favorite documentaries is Pumping Iron. I found out about it be reading an issue of Flex magazine. I just had to watch it. And I did. I loved it. It's about bodybuilding. Specifically the 1975 Mr. Olympia, and what was the other weightlifting competition? Oh, Mr. Universe. The scenes of the bodybuilders lifting weight were my favorite. Putting in all that work to get big and strong. That looks so fun. I have watched Pumping Iron more than once. Okay. Maybe I have watched it dozens of times. There is a documentary called Pumping Iron 2. I think that is what it's called. It's about female bodybuilders. I have not seen it. Watching Pumping Iron makes me want to get working out, because I want my arms and legs to get strong also. Six pack abs would be nice to have also. What else can I talk about? I am reading another book about bees. In the book there is a picture of the ultra green seat bee. The female is all green. Head, thorax, abdomen. And the male ultra green sweat bee has a green head and thorax. And he and monon is yellow the abdomen is not all yellow. It has yellow and black stripes. So cool looking. I hope someday I see one of those bees in my garden. So cool looking. I wish I could remember all the names of bees. There are only 20,000 plus species so I could do that right. Maybe not. How do entomologists remember it all? They must carry around a lot of books. I wish things were easier to learn. Sadly they are not. At least I remember anything about bees. I wonder if I know more about botany or entomology. I still have a lot to learn about those two subjects. Oh, I hope I can do it. As you can see I finished the Sudoku puzzle.
I have to push past the thought that tells me you can't finish this Sudoku puzzle. I hope to see you here tomorrow on another episode of Oatmeal Breakfast Play the Video Game. I hope you have a great evening. Good night. Thanks for watching and listening. Good night.